Yo, what is up you guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Benji and in today's video we're going to go over a watch list for some stocks that I'm going to be looking to buy next week as well as some plays that I might be making. So first things first, let's take a look at where the overall market is currently at right now. It is very possible you guys that we could just be in a similar situation that we were in June 8th. The entire stock market went up quite a bit and then there was a little bit of a pullback and then things sort of consolidated and then moved back up to where we were back in September 2nd, September 3rd. So this might just be another small little pullback, but at the same time, there is still a lot of uncertainty with what's going on around the world right now. At the same time, it could be the start of another bigger pullback. As always, you guys, for the stocks that I'm looking to buy more of next week, it's going to, of course, depend on what the market is going to be looking like. On a weekly basis, you guys know that I like to add stocks every single day of the week into my big long-term portfolio. But at the same time, I do have to take into account whether or not the market is going down and selling off or if the market is pretty pricey. And then from there, I look at the portfolio and market in a different direction and see what I want to purchase specifically, depending on what's going on in the market. So the first stock or situation that we're gonna to have to deal with this week, you guys, is this Apple situation. I did get assigned 400 shares of Apple this last Friday from an option trade. If you guys wanna see more about that, check out the video last that I made, just one video ago, check that out. To hear me talk more about this in detail, my thoughts about it and everything else. But right now, you guys, we have 20% of our portfolio is currently made up of Apple which is probably a little bit more than I'd like it to be. Although I do believe in Apple, I do think that it will go back up in price. That it is just weighted a little bit heavy for the overall portfolio. So what I might do is either trade options and sell some calls on these shares um, if this price does go up over the next few days. I don't know about you guys, but I do have a feeling that come Monday morning, we will see a bounce on Apple. I do feel like it's a little bit oversold um, and it has really came down a lot. I mean, we're coming down to where we were, um, you know, August 12th, August 13th in that range. So I feel like come Monday morning, there's a good chance that it could bounce back up to say $118, you know, maybe even $120. Or at the same time, it could keep selling off. And if it keeps selling off, what I'm gonna do, honestly, is I'm gonna buy more shares of Apple. Um, even though I already have a lot of shares, I do wanna just keep dollar cost averaging, get my average cost down. So if it does continue to sell off pretty steeply, I'm going to definitely buy more shares and just basically nosedive down with it. Then in that case, what I'll do is wait until the price does go up a little bit and then go ahead and sell some calls. The reason I'm not going to sell calls on the shares that I have with Apple, um, if it does continue to stay where it's at or go down, is because my average share cost is around $122, and I don't want to have a strike price below that. So the amount of premium that I'm going to be able to earn um, is still pretty good. I mean, $45, $36 per contract, so times six, I mean, that's pretty good for a week. Um, mind you, but honestly, if Apple does bounce up to 120 and then maybe I can sell calls with a strike price of like 130 and earn that same amount of premium, I'd be really happy to do so or maybe even higher than that. But but overall, the plan with Apple is, is that if it does continue to sell off, I'm going to buy more shares, lower my average cost and then sit around and wait and hold it until it does go up in price. And if it does go up in price right away on Monday or Tuesday, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take at least some of these shares and then sell calls, earn some premium and then maybe offload a little bit of the shares that I have of Apple. Next, what I'm planning on doing, you guys, is grabbing some more AT&T. I always grab AT&T pretty much every day in the market if it is down below my average cost because my long-term goal with AT&T is to have 1,000 shares in the portfolio because the dividend yield is so good. I feel like at these prices, it is so pretty cheap. I feel like AT&T will go up over time. And also, I can sell weekly calls on the shares of my portfolio and earn, say, you know, 4 to $8 per contract per week, which isn't all that much, but AT&T doesn't really move around all that much anyway. So, so selling calls with AT&T is a really easy situation. Another position that I want to keep building over this next week, if it does continue to be down below my average cost, is definitely some more Visa. I own four shares of Visa now at 201.13, so I do feel like Visa is a little bit overpriced at where it is right now, to be honest with you guys. I would really like to buy Visa a little bit cheaper than $200, but honestly, where it's at right now, it still is underneath my average cost. I'll continue to grab a few more shares of Visa over the next few days. The next stock on my watch list and my buy list is definitely Microsoft. Microsoft's currently at 203.41 and my average share cost right now is 206.75. We were able to lower this quite a bit over the last few days because Microsoft really sold off. I mean, Microsoft was basically trading at around $200 just a few days ago. So we have 34.5 shares of Microsoft. I really wanna get that up to 100 as soon as possible, but of course only at the right price. So if Microsoft does go under 200, I'll definitely buy a little bit more aggressively. But if it stays around these areas, I'll definitely keep grabbing more shares uh, on the up and coming days. 
So those are just a few out of the many shares that I'm gonna be looking to add into the big portfolio this week, you guys. There are a lot of stocks in this portfolio that we are down quite a bit in, as you guys see right here. Um, the only problem is not a lot of these names are stocks that I really, really want all that bad. So I might just stick to my top favorite stocks because the market is so all over the place right now. We don't really know where it's going to be moving. Another thing to take into consideration is my cash balance is running low because that put that we sold with Apple did get assigned. So that's $50,500 now of working capital basically in the portfolio that is now you know purchased Apple with. So we are running a bit low on cash balance in the portfolio. I might make another deposit this week. I might not. It really depends on how things play out. Um, but that's always an option, honestly, because I do want to keep things moving. I do want to keep any more money on dividend stocks and then buying more income from the portfolio because the dividends are rolling in nicely, finally. And I really just want to keep them going up higher and higher. As far as the dividends go, here are some of them that are pending in the portfolio currently. There are a few new ones since the last video. So we do have some decent sized ones that are pending right now in the portfolio, as well as we are going to be paid out quite a few over the next few days. September 15th, we have a nice payday. We have 12 from Stag. We have 14 from Whirlpool. We have 63 from Realty Income. We have $9.23 from Main Street Capital. And the day before that, we also have a $33 one coming in from 3M. So they are stacking up quite nicely, you guys. I just really want to get them bigger, obviously, over time. And we are. We're doing a good job of that. But that's really my motivation right now is if the market does continue to sell off, just, just buying a lot of high-quality stocks that, of course, are yielding something decent to keep upping my overall annual dividend income. But that concludes my watch list for this next week, you guys. I am really excited for trading this next week, and I'm going to keep my eyes open for deals, of course, as always. I'm excited to keep adding the big portfolio, and I'm really excited to see how this Apple play turns out. We are down quite a bit right now because we were assigned those Apple shares, um, but I really, really do believe that they're going to come back, honestly, in the short term or long term. Either way, is a win for me, but we're going to figure it out. We're going to sort it out, and I'm just excited to see what happens next. But if you guys are excited for this next trading week and you guys did like this video, please, please, please drop a like on this video. It really helps the channel. Also, leave a comment or question down below and I'll answer a few of them in tomorrow's video. Make sure you guys subscribe to follow along with the journey. I show you guys what I buy, sell, and trade every single day in the stock market right here on YouTube. I have multiple portfolios that I always open up to you guys, keep it very transparent. And I'd really love if you guys subscribe and join the journey. Also, you guys, we do have a Discord server that is dedicated to investing. We have dividend investors in here, day traders, options traders, and much, much more. Tons and tons of smart people in this Discord, you guys, giving plays, tips, and tricks. So join the Discord if you guys want. It's absolutely free to join, and we'll see you guys in there. Again, thank you guys so much as always for stopping by, and we'll see you in tomorrow's video.